and welcome. I'm Serena. And I'm Maureen. And we're with the Providence Children's Museum. Thank you for joining us for Amgen Maker Moments. Today, we're exploring sand. This activity comes to us from Karen Breyer, a teacher who shared this lesson with us. To see her lesson and more like it, visit our website. Have you played with sand before? I've always loved how it feels running through my fingers. Sand is everywhere, from beaches to deserts. Sand is an important part of our environment. Today, we're going to experiment with sand to learn more about how it moves in nature. Want to follow along with us? Here's what we used for our experiment. A small tray, playground sand, water, paper straws, spoons, and some small stones. To set up our experiment, we need to pour some sand in a corner of our tray. How can we move the sand to the other side without using our hands? What if we try blowing the sand? Does it move where we want it to? Let's try again, using a straw this time. Look how much easier it moves when we control it. Now, let's add some more sand and some stones to the tray for a bigger challenge. Let's see what happens when we point our straw at the stones. How does the sand move now that the stones are on our tray? It looks like the stones are acting as an obstacle for the sand. Time for the final challenge. This time, instead of just air, we're adding water. Notice how the shape of the sand changes. Is it easier or harder to move the sand? When water is involved, the sand follows the path of the moving water. Just like when waves crash onto the beach, the water in our tray pushes the sand with it. Thanks for playing along with us today. We learned a lot about sand. We'd love to see what you tried at home. Have a grown up post a picture online using the hashtag PCMCreates. See you next time.